the history of Chinese art goes back 5,000 years and it had no Western influence and so Chinese art was quite unique and quite wonderful in its time. But now in the middle, early part of the 21st century with the internet, Chinese art is being heavily influenced. People in China as well as people in America, France, all over the world, they all now look at the same kinds of images same successful artist in China, like Ai Weiwei, or the same successful artist here in the United States. They all know each other's what everybody is doing, and so it all becomes one kind of a thing. And so it's becoming harder and harder to tell the difference between what is Chinese, current Chinese art, and what is current American art, or what is European art, and that they all are very influenced with each other. They all go online and sell their art through internet spaces in the same place and things like that. And so it becomes harder and harder to tell the difference between that kind of art because we all sort of want to compete on the same playing field. And on the same playing field then all that art needs to mold together and stand out. And so it's it's the same story that it's always been of artists trying to become successful and be more original than the next guy. But also with the internet and Googling, you can find out that there really is no fresh ideas out there, that somebody else already has one of your ideas and has done something with it. So it becomes trickier and faster art all the time. And Chinese art is being one of the very fast arts, so it's excelling along the way. But in terms of actually visualizing it, seeing it, and seeing an American artist, the difference between the two is becoming less and less, I think, it's not distinct in that way because we are so influenced.